We turn to this now. A Newport News father faces child abuse and neglect and several gun charges after police say his three-year-old son died after an accidental shooting. And we do want to warn you, some might find the details of this story disturbing. So Casey Baylor joins us live now from the courthouse with new information in this case. Casey, the big question right now from, from people is why did police wait to file these new charges? Bethany, a Newport News police spokesperson told me detectives wanted to wait to go over forensics evidence as well as look at individual statements before adding those additional charges that they did this morning. Now, these court documents also tell us the day of uh, that shooting, Nathan Copeland found his son shot in the bedroom after he heard a loud bang earlier that morning. The morning of April 6, police went to a home on 26th Street near Chestnut Avenue in Newport News for a call about a shooting. Newly filed court documents say officers found a three-year-old boy lying on the floor in a bedroom after getting shot in his head. Investigators are calling it an accidental shooting. Paperwork says detectives found the gun about three feet from the boy's body. Police say they spoke with the boy's father, Nathan Copeland, who says he had a nine millimeter gun and moved it from his vehicle to his bedroom the night before. Copeland told detectives he stored the gun in a cardboard box in his bedroom. Inside the home, officers also found about 40 marijuana plants, digital scales, packaging material, and individually wrapped bags of marijuana. Copeland told police he had no more than 50 plants at his house. Documents say an officer saw what appeared to be not less than an ounce of marijuana product between the plants and wrap bags. Police charged him with distribution and possession of marijuana last week. He also faces child abuse and neglect charges as well as gun charges. Documents say Copeland told officers his uncle brought that gun over the night before Wednesday night. Documents also say uh, Copeland has a felony conviction in Florida, and he also told investigators his rights have not been restored. We're live in Newport News. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. All right, Casey, thank you. Now, Nathan Copeland is scheduled for a court hearing in June.